First of all, small and medium-sized business of SME are entities with sales asset or employees that fall below a specific trust food. A small and medium-sized firm is also defined differently in each nation in Malaysia. Definition of SME will be changed. It will be based on two criteria for a greater coverage and applicability, which is based from number of employees and annual sales turnover. The definition of SME will be applied for the following sector, which is primary agriculture, manufacturing that including a group agro-based manufacturing that related with the service or known as MRS and services like IC. There are the list of authorized SME definition that is not inclusive and the National SME Development Council may alter or expand it from time to time. To reflect changes in operating and business situation as for the first one, SME based on the general definition of primary agriculture can be defined as one business with less than 50 full-time employees and with annual sales turnover of less than 5 million and the general definition of small medium enterprise in manufacturing that include the agro base and manufacturing related service which MRS just now is defined as an entity with less than 150 full-time employees and with an annual sales turnover of less than 25 million. Moreover, the government frequently provides incentives such as preferential tax, treatment and easier access to financing in order for them to assist the business if operating being a small or medium-sized company or SME is not always simple. These businesses have a hard time attracting financing to support their ventures and they also frequently have trouble paying taxes and complying with legal requirements. The issue that can be arise to small and medium-sized enterprise is when the marketing is lower compared to large enterprise company. As we know, the enlargement of product or business depends on the marketing because marketing is an important component of growing a small or medium-sized business as it helps to raise awareness of the company and its product or services. It was a marketing strategy that are effective to attract new consumers, maintain existing one, and develop a great reputation for businesses. Marketing has a substantial impact on the rate of product sales in small and medium-sized business. It also makes the businesses to have better engage with potential customers. Furthermore, continuing marketing activities like email campaign, social media promotion, and targeted advertising can help to retain existing customer and stimulate repeat purchases. As a result, having a good marketing plan can be vital to the success and growth of small and medium-sized businesses. And SME may find it difficult to reach out to its customer. This is because the large corporations have the financial resources to advertise in mass media. But reaching a considerable number of clients can be a time-consuming operation for small and medium-sized businesses. Hi and Assalamualaikum. I will continue on the issue which is impact of the economy during COVID-19 pandemic to SME. The implementation of movement control order, which is MCO, is an action the government and the effort to curb the spread of COVID-19 in Malaysia on 18 March 2020 with the implementation of MCO which the government gave instruction to entrepreneurs who are not involved in food supplies to close their premises or business during MCO. This will give an impact to the economy since during the MCO there are regularity regarding the standard operation for business. Based on one research that had been done by the SMEs, Corporation 97.7% of respondents from SMEs traders had to bear loss during the pandemic COVID-19 and the issue got worsened when there are meta rises from Malaysian society where government allowed the factory to be operated by dining at the restaurant were not allowed so the restaurant owner need to be to be a bare loss as it was prohibited to do a dine-in restaurant during the implementation of MCO. So the impact can be seen when people lost job during the pandemic and in fact the buying power where when people are not having money in their hand. So for the unregistered traders during the pandemic, many small businesses were affected when their business cannot survive, which made their business go bankrupt. In order to prevent this from happening, according to the official website SME, Corporation Malaysia Small and Medium Companies must register with Rohanjaya Syarikat Malaysia SSM. Besides that, there are many kinds of business aid that the government provides to help growing small businesses. Additionally, signing up with the SSM gives companies access to a variety of advantages tools. They receive a formal identified as a result which is vital for conducting business. Acquiring relevant licenses and permission, opening bank accounts, 
taking part in government procurement initiative and getting access to different financial and non-financial aid programs. According to our former Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tatsui Mujin Yassin said that the grant has priority in GKP has increased to 1,500 ringgit compared to only 500 ringgit before. Unfortunately, the unregistered traders they are unqualified to get this assistance due to their business not being registered to SSN. The implication on small and medium sized enterprise SME when marketing is lower compared to large enterprise company. Small and medium enterprise are critical to, con to the country economic success. The value of the entrepreneurs in marketing strategy will lead to bankruptcy and degradation of business. In terms of money, the entrepreneurs may lose more than the amount of equity invested in the failing enterprise due to that the employees in the organization are so really affected in the way that they might lose their job. As we know that the role of SME in Malaysia is significantly important as it has been considered the big bone of the economy because SME promote economic development and cross-modern commercial investment which contribute to the nation cross domestic product GDP. The issue arises in SME given a huge impact in the economic sectors as it will stop contributing to the nation outputs of goods and services as well as employment and government revenue through paying tax. Furthermore, the value of a small business can have far-reaching effects that go beyond the immediate economic impact. It has the potential to weaken the general entrepreneurial spirit and deter future generations from pursuing their company goal. The implication of economy during COVID-19 pandemic to small and medium enterprise. Pandemic COVID-19 has globally impacted the world in many ways. The latest global disaster which the coronavirus outbreak has impacted all areas of the economy. Due to the Movement Control Order MCO, non-essential businesses were required to temporarily close and as a result, cash flows issues arose in a way that some enterprises reported zero income during that time. During or after a crisis, SME typically suffer from high losses, lower sales volume, failure to satisfy contact recruitment, workforce reduction and even firm closure. New startup enterprises have a higher likelihood of surviving during crisis periods than during growth periods, most likely due to a shortage of job possibilities. Entrepreneurship activities could mitigate the negative effects of crisis by maintaining the flow of goods and services and restoring the public trust of other business owners and the community at large. And during crisis, entrepreneurs pursue new opportunities and establish new direction for their firms. As a result, small and medium-sized firms are feeling increased pressure to modernize the operation through the use of various technologies. So for the last implication on unregistered traders, for the unregistered businesses due to their limited financial capacities and strong reliance on bank financing, Malaysian small and medium companies SMEs are expected to be more vulnerable to an economic downturn than larger firms during a lengthy economic crisis. Unregistered business, they are not entitled to gain the government financial assistance for a business, a coalition of trade and professional association. This will lead the workers to be jobless and have no future income. The government should explore providing a friendlier regulatory environment as well as efficient promotion incentive to encourage more enterprises in the sector to be registered. Thus, the government may promote the development of odd, job, odd jobs and income by promoting the formalization of SMEs. Businesses that are registered are more likely to grow, make investment in technology and innovation, and recruit more staff in turn. This promotes economic expansion, lowers unemployment, and boosts tax collection for the government. Eventually, this should be geared towards boosting employment and revenue development with more formalized SMEs. Moving on to suggestion part, the first suggestion is by encouraging SMEs to involve in the digitalization. In the technology-driven world of today, businesses need to embrace digitalization to stay competitive and open up a new possibilities. By going digital, SMEs can improve their performance, reach more customers, and grow in a way that is sustainable. One of the main benefits of technology for SMEs is that it can help them become more efficient and productive. SMEs can automate processes, speed up operations, and get rid of time-consuming manual chores by using digital tools and technologies. 
for example, accounting software, customer relationship management system, and inventory management system help SMEs optimize their workflows, cut down on mistakes, and improve the general efficiency of operations. So, business owner and worker can put their attention back on the quotas, new ideas, and giving great customer service. SMEs can reach more customers through digitalization and show off their goods and services to larger market by building a strong online presence through website, e-commerce platform, and social media. With the right digital marketing tactics like search engine optimization and advertising on social media, SMEs can attract and engage more customers, which can lead to more sales and more brand awareness. SMEs can learn a lot about their customer preference, behaviors, and buying habits through data analysis and customer relationship management tools. This information can be used to make sure that product, services, and marketing plans meet the needs of specific customer. By giving customer a smooth and personalized experience, SMEs can build customer trust, get them to buy from them again, and gain a competitive edge in the market. Hence, it is crucial for SMEs to grow, be competitive, and stay alive that they accept digitalization. By using digital tools and technologies, SMEs can improve their operational performance, reach more customer, and give customer a more personalized experience, and make the best use of their resources. To get these benefits, government, industry group, and other stakeholders need to work together to give SMEs the support, training, and rewards they need to start their digital information journey. SMEs can reach their full potential and do well in the digital economy if they consider digital first. The next suggestion is by implementing research and development and innovation for the product. SMEs are very important for driving economic growth, encouraging creativity, and creating jobs. But SMEs need focused research and development projects to make even more of an impact on the economy. This program helps SME improve their skills, come up with new ideas, and streamline their processes. Support for R&D is a key part of helping SMEs innovate. By putting money into R&D, SME can work on making new goods, processes, and technologies. R&D effort also encourage the use and adoption of a new technology, which help SME improve the operational efficiency, productivity, and business performance as a whole. Through assistance for R&D, SME can focus on making their goods and services more effectively, which increase their quality and productivity. R&D lets SME do market study, find out what customer want, and find places where they can improve. By always improving their product and services, SME can keep up with changing customer needs, stay ahead of the competition, and build a name for providing high-quality goods and services. Better quality and productivity lead to happier customer, more repeat business, and long-term progress. As a result, giving SME help with R&D is essential for fostering creativity, boosting competitiveness, and boosting economic growth. By giving SME top priority for R&D support, we can help them reach their full potential and pave the way for a bright future. Thank you, Vivi. To continue with the next recommendation, which is having good relationship with outsiders and track online investment, uh, when it comes to boosting the motivation for small and medium-sized businesses or SMEs, it is often suggested to have a connection or approach to the side of domestic scale. And SMEs should focus on a good relationship with the outsiders and at the same time, it will attract the foreign direct investment. <coughs> it will not only bring uh, benefit to the local SMEs, but also to the nation's economic growth, whereby it will encourage a long-term period of facilitate uh, and sustain the nation's development. In the context of a good relationship, it is not only referring to any good and well-known industry leaders or influencers, but also the good connection that will bring the SME to create a foundation as a path of globalization. For instance, collaboration between domestic and foreign industry like Hong Kong Bank. There is no such thing as fast track. It will always be reaching and achieving the target. With a good relationship, it will improve the image and attract every observer to the point of recognition. So this will surely bring benefit to SMEs as it can proceed. To the next process towards the development. In the context of foreign direct investment, any SME should invest in technology as it is the trend nowadays. From day to day, the investment of technology really assists any business, although some regard it as a potential risk to the traditional process. The majority agree to proceed in order to go global. So, with the help of technology, any SMEs will become more experts in the industry and at the same time will bring foreign focus to their industry. Foreign industry investors often look at the expertise and performance as well as return of investment or ROI results to give them the, uh, the confidence or attract them to invest. The SMEs need to convince them by turning what they fear of into an excitement to invest. Moving to the next recommendation which is improving scales development provide assistance to nations 
economic growth and development. So many countries are facing these challenges of low productivity, and at the same time, it will weaken the investment and trade towards any nation. SM is an important when it comes to productivity due to how nations depend on the as one of the main forces for economic development. So SMEs are also the main sector of creating jobs from every new company created by employing labor forces in broad segments of sectors and industries. So skills development is crucial, especially for uh, SMEs throughout any nation. SMEs should provide programs that will train the workforces in terms of knowledge and skills to enable them to perform efficient and effective multitasking. It is true that it, it needs higher activity, but with the support from the government, it will become much simplified and easier, which will lead to a high productivity of labor forces. So with that, the SMEs can expand the operation or provide assistance to the national development. To add more SMEs should target specific sectors that live up to the current trend as it will provide them with opportunities to gain benefit in terms of business to gain more profit. Not only following the trend, but also what is crucial to the economy since SMEs will contribute their benefit with the nation's economic growth and development. But to be specific, SMEs should uh, identify a gap in terms of skills, talent, technology relevance to what industries pursue. And at the end, this will lead the SMEs to expand the overall contribution in providing assistance to the nation's economic uh, growth with the drive from targeted specializations or what the sectors uh, expect of. So, in conclusion, the skills development is important for the SMEs and also the nation's economic development and growth in order to maximize the impact of well-trained labor forces with various skills or targeted specialized uh, skills in providing support to the national economy. SMEs role is vital to the most of the production internal or external of the nation since they are able to create job opportunities, creating foundation of goods and services as well as capability to uh, of fast adaptability in order to react to the changing of the market for the development and the growth of the economy in any nations. In conclusion, small and medium-sized enterprises constitute the big bone or backbones of any country's economy. So, as a result, it is critical to keep an eye on their performance in order to improve their contribution through the use of various strategies. 
Malaysians SME provide significant contribution to the country GDP, employment and export, and their contribution to the advancement of the economy are significantly greater in cooperation to big companies. So that is why the Malaysian government is attempting to improve the Malaysian economy through the expansion of SM. However, it also contributes on average despite mitigating variables that will have resulted in highly contributed. It is important to highlight that the inference of Malaysian SME cannot be underestimated. They must continue to increase output in order to be more productive and effective if the present government assistance, SME can still contribute tax economic migrating of waste. So, as a result, effective policy must be created by the Malaysian government and SME on it in order to enhance SME performance in terms of GP, employment, and also export. So, that's all from us. Thank you.